Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So we're gonna pull some cards for you guys today and see what messages the universe has for you from the 25th of June to the 30th of June, okay? This is going to be for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. All right, so let's see. We're gonna try to pull from, um, well, I'm gonna try to pull from a couple of different decks and see what messages the universe can give you. Okay. Sarah, what messages do you have for the collectives? What messages do you have for the collectives? What do they need to know from June 25th through June 30th? And some of you are dealing with somebody who's extremely stubborn. Give me one second. I just need to fix my camera a little bit. why my camera seemed really off balance i think i moved it last night by an accident and now i can't get it to focus where i want it all right we'll just leave it there all right so you guys have the hermit some of you could be dealing with a virgo or someone who has Virgo in their chart, strongly, solitude, soul searching. All right, so someone is holding back because they're dealing with some things. They don't want to talk about it. You're about to get clarity from this person, though, because we have the full card, Aries energy, Hermit, Virgo energy. And we also have the Ace of Swords, breakthrough and clarity. So you're about to get some clarity from this person if you haven't heard from them. Maybe this person withdrew became very distant and cold and they stop calling you they start reaching out and you have no clue why and so I feel like a lot of you are like okay well I'm not going to bother them I'm not going to you know reach out to them I'll just let them reach out to me and that's about to happen with the breakthrough and clarity and with the ace of swords okay so what messages what messages do you have for the collectives from June 25th June 30th. What do they need to know? The Queen of Pentacles. Some of you could be dealing with an earth sign um, or you are an earth sign. We have abundance, confidence, period of stability. I feel like some of you could be working on your stability, your finances, as something here to distract you from whatever is going on in your love life right now. Spirit, what messages? What messages do you have? What messages do you have for the collectives from June 25th through June 30th? Mm -hmm. Four of Wands. For some of you, this person may be married or you're married to um, your person. And it's like maybe you're trying to figure out whether you guys are going to get a divorce or if you're going to stay together. You're going to try to make this work. You know, if you're going to go to counseling or something. But I'm picking up the energy of stability here. So I feel like you're more concerned about whether you, you guys can get back on track, whether things will come back to um, being stable and grounded. Some of you are dealing with a fire sign, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, or you are a fire sign. Just take it as it resonates. Like Don't take the messages that don't resonate for you guys. Speaking of that, somebody sent me an email, and they were like, and I, I was like, what? Somebody sent me an email and they were like, your last reading did not resonate with me. And it was question marks. And I'm like, okay, you know, it was a general reading, right? And I never, like the person never responded. But I sort of felt like maybe this person was going through something. So I didn't want to be mean to them. I just kindly responded that, you know, when, you, when it's a general reading, you can't take each and every message, especially ones that don't apply to you. Okay, so um, if that person is listening, I apologize because maybe it was their first time listening to Tarot, so they didn't know. Okay, all right, so so we have the Five of Cups, grieving, breakup, loss, regret, and sadness. For some of you, I feel like your person is in this Five of Cups mode or mood rather, and they're grieving. You know what I'm also picking up on here, y'all? I feel like some of y'all think something is over and it's really not. 
it's like a break it's temporary i'm picking very i'm picking up very temporary energy some of you could be dealing with a water sign cancer pisces or scorpio this person isn't over you and you're not over them but i feel like someone does need a break someone's going through something and they really don't want to talk about it but i feel like they're about to um explain something or discuss something with you i just feel like in the past maybe week or two or a couple of weeks you know prior to you seeing this reading this person they just been wanting to um stay to themselves with that hermit card coming out as the first card yeah mirroring you and this person are mirroring each other a mirage calling for you to go within so it's like if they're not talking you're not talking you're like okay i don't know why they're not talking maybe they should tell me and this person's like you know what you know i just feel like there's a there's a lack of understanding there's miscommunication going on here between you and your person you may be feeling like this person doesn't love you anymore and they may be feeling the same thing about you but i don't see that absolutely not i don't see that you're about to hear from this person page of wands so with this page of wands card we have fleeting love messages excitement so this person is about to come in some of you could be dealing with a younger fire sign aries leo sagittarius and this is how they're seeing you what a catch wanting to conquer fear of losing you so this person actually fears losing the connection but i just feel like they're going through something so this is why they're pulling away and they don't want to talk about it or maybe it's something that's embarrassing or maybe they just feel like it's too much information to try to explain to you. Spare what messages do you have for the collectives from June 25th to June 30th? What do they need to know about their person and their situation? Ten of Cups, I told you, this person loves you. This is what they feel and think of you right but i also feel like this person has something going on in their life with this five of cups energy and so this like whatever they're going through it's just a lot and they don't want to talk about it right now it could be if you're dealing with someone who's like married or of course in another commitment dealing with someone they're dealing with someone else or live with someone else i just feel like there's something going on at home in that household and they're not willing to talk about it but they still love you. Yeah, Page of Pentacles, youthful energy, newness, financial offer, good news. So expect good news to be coming from your person. Also, some of you could get a financial offer here. It could be a new job or um, some sort of side hustle that's something that you're working on where you you become very abundant from this. Because I did feel like you guys were pulling back your energy and focusing on something because you're not speaking to your person. We have the Queen of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. A lot of earth energy here and um, fire energy here. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collectors from June 25th? All right, so this card, divine timing. Yeah, the universe is saying be patient. Patience is needed. Surrender to the unknown. The universe is saying this will be taken care of in time, so you don't need to worry about it. Spirit, what messages do you have? Oh, okay. I got a lot of cards that came out. Well, not a lot, but... Oh, yeah, this person's coming towards you. <laughs> Look at this energy. I feel like if this person was rejecting you, it was because they're in their ego. It says male ego, resisting connection. And then we have knight of wands, lustful risk taker, sudden arrival. Um, there is a Sagittarius here for some of you. Okay. Or a fire sign in general. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person missed the sex with you. We have sexual encounter, sexual bond, lustful intent. They may think about you all the time in a sexual way. We also have knight of swords, sudden action, arrival being swept off your feet. Yeah, I feel like this person's going to be coming towards you this week. So expect that. You have two knights here. Knights are movement. And I feel like this person was holding back prior. But now it's like they're ready to come in. It's like this person can't take it anymore or something. This may even be your energy where you can't take being away from your person or not talking to them. But you know what? For some of you, I feel like it's both of you. I feel like both of you are sitting back like, I want to call them. I want to talk to them. I miss them. I love them so much. But I think I'll just leave them alone. <laughs> like, I don't know if they want to be bothered. Like, I feel like you guys are like thinking about this person, wanting to reach out to them. And then you're like, no. Nah. Because they may like you know have an attitude or they may you know piss me off they may make me cry or something 
So you're holding back. But um, I see this person coming towards you. Now, some of you could be dealing with an air sign, a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. So we have fire and we have air here that's coming towards you. Okay. All right. So let's pull some more cards. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collectives from June 25th to June 30th? June 20. Yep. Nine of Pentacles. Freedom and independence, love without commitment. I feel like this is how this person sees you. Somebody you guys are dealing with feel like you don't need them. And you need them so much. You're like, I, you're like okay, I may not need you financially, but I want you in my life. Like, I love you. I, I want to be with you, right? But this person, I feel like in their mind, they're thinking like, um, especially like male energy, here is what I'm picking up on strongly. No, it could be male or female. So like I said, take it how it resonates. But I feel like this person is like in their world, where they come from, how they see things, they have to be financially stable in order for someone to actually really love them or go towards them or for them to see value in a relationship. And I feel like there's a clash um, here when it comes to that because for some of you, you're like, I don't really care if you have money. Like, that doesn't matter. I feel like for some of you, like love, you put love above um, material things. You put love above money. And I'm sort of seeing that this person, they don't think that way. But you do. And so this person may be, you know, being really cold towards you or pulling back because they may have financial issues and they don't. They don't really know how to explain it or, or feel like you would understand. Or maybe they don't want to just go into what's really going on with their finances. But they feel like you're fine. You're good. You don't need them. But this person, it's hard for them to let you go. We have frozen. Hard to let go. Resisting change. They don't want this change. They don't want to let go of you. But they feel like you do not need them. And I feel like you need this person so much in your life. And they don't even realize it. They don't even realize it. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collectives? What do they need to know about their situation and their person from June 25th to June 30th? All right, so you guys have the Queen of Cups. Maybe you could be dealing with a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, or this person is extremely emotional about you and they're hiding it. But I'm picking up the energy here. So for some of you, it's going to be, you know, everyone's situation is different, right? So... I feel like for some of you, both of you are in this Queen of Cups energy, especially if you're dealing with the water sign. Both of you have so much emotions. It says magnetism, you know, new romance. All right, when I flipped the deck and split it, I saw the devil, okay? We have what's the T? Gossip, asking about you. We also have devil, obsession, destructive... Um, habit or love. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. I think I'm just going to take this out here. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, this person wants to know, like, what is up with you? What's going on? Why you haven't called them? You know, what's, what's your problem? Because I feel like some of you are holding back. Or you may feel like this person's holding back from you, but they want to know what's going on. So this person could be asking about you, maybe to a family member or a friend. Also, someone here has an obsession with you, a strong one. This person thinks about you all the time. They may think about like having sex with you or, you know, just being in your presence with this devil card. Real lustful energy here. All right. Spare, what messages do you have for the collectives? What do they need to know from June 25th to June 30th? Oh, you know what, guys? I forgot to say happy birthday to all my cancers out there. I'm sorry, guys. I forgot to say that. All right. So we have 10 of Pentacles, long lasting union, marriage, solid foundation. Some of you are already in a marriage with this person. So I'm seeing this again with the 10 of Pentacles, four of wands. And you're wondering if things are going to work out. I feel like you and this person are going to have a conversation that changes things. So be patient and allow this to unfold naturally. Don't push for anything because I feel like if you push each other 
for information, emotions, or feelings, um, it may it may further stagnate what's happening here. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? She has three of pentacles. Your person wants to work this out with you. You may have even met this person at work. Maybe you guys work together and maybe you go to work and you see them and it's very uncomfortable for you to be there and see them and things are not working out between the two of you. You guys may try to avoid each other while you're at work. We have love at work, projects with partner. Some of you may even be on a project with this person and you're like, oh my God, I have to see them in every meeting. <laughs> And you're like, we're not even talking. We're not even on the same page. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collectives? So we're going to pull a couple more. Ten of Wands, your person's burdened. We have responsibilities, overburdened by love. I feel like they have a lot going on. Listen, if this person that you're dealing with is married and they're in another committed situation, there's something they're not telling you. They're burdened by a whole lot of shit that this other person is putting on them or requiring from them. And I just feel like they don't want you to know. They may even feel like it's none of your business or why, you know, they may not want to discuss it with you because it's just too much. Like I said, they have to go into. But someone is burdening your person, especially if they're married. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius that you're dealing with. Or an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. King of Wands just spoke him up. Or her. Cards are not gender-based. Take charge type of person. Born leader. Wants it all. Yeah, I feel like this person is a visionary. It's like they see what they want and they go after it. Like, immediately. I feel like if you're dealing with a fire sign, it's something that's stopping them from going after what they want. And it sort of bothers them. And so it puts them in this mood where they're like, I don't want to be bothered. I need to try to get myself together. I need to find balance. You know, I need to handle this. I need to handle that. Because this is what this person is used to doing. But I feel like something is stopping them. Something is preventing them. They could be going through the dark night of the soul where the universe is causing them to sit still. It's like requiring. The universe may be requiring your person to sit still instead of, you know, being um, very fast moving. Because when you think of fire, you think of something that moves extremely fast. You know, they're passionate about a lot of things in their life. And when they're passionate about things... They want to move forward towards it and they don't want to be stopped. And I feel like this person is being stopped in some type of way and they're not telling you about it. And so it's affecting you guys connection. All right, let's get one more and then we're going to jump into a different deck. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collectors? Whoever this is, I just keep feeling like this person has so much love for you that they hide it. They hide their energy because that's what they're used to doing. Maybe they were in another connection um, or they're in another connection and they're used to hiding their feelings from that person or they were in another one. Yep, I'm telling you. Some of you guys are dealing with is hiding their feelings. We have the Page of Cups, Happy Surprises, Love Visitor, a message. You're going to get a message from this person. They've been hiding the love they have for you or it's like they want to come out and say, and say something. But that's not how they operate. That's not how they move. It's like in the past, like, you know, whoever they were with in the past, like that wasn't the type of energy that they were in. They may have been in a connection where um, the person was extremely toxic. And so they could not express their love. So they suppressed a lot of their feelings. Well, they feel with you, they don't have to do that. But then they also don't know how to come forward and be open or as open as you are. And I feel like this is what some of you are waiting on from your person. Like, tell me you love me. Tell me that you are going to ride this out with me. You know, you're not leaving. You know, I just feel like that's something that you want to know. And it would make you feel better. And you would allow this person to have their space. But it's like when you don't know what's going on and you don't have that clarity, you don't know how to understand your person. So just know with the four, uh, not with the four of cups, <laughs> with the page of cups, this person is coming through. They're going to come through. I feel like some of you, this person is going to come through either today, this week. Next week, like you're going to hear from this person. It's just so many cards here that are pointing in that direction. Spirit. All right, one more. Yep, here we are. I told you. We have It's Time, Divine Intervention, No More Running. This person is going to feel like they can't run from this anymore. The love is too strong here. It's 
the like I'm picking up the energy of the love being so strong between you and your person and them being in this hermit mode they can't take it and you may not even be able to take it either but it's like you don't know they're feeling that way and they don't know you're feeling the way you're feeling all right so let's jump into a different deck here gosh we already got 20 minutes <laughs> the time was fine okay so let's see what deck do i want to use okay let's go into this one spirit what does it oh all right shocking events unexpected surprise did not see it coming unpredictable so we have the tower here okay now the tower does not always have to be a bad card you know it, it depends on surrounding cards or what comes after it or what comes before it and so since this card came out first we're gonna see what comes after this card before we start saying you know what's what here so what messages do you have for the collectors what do they need to know from june 25th to the 30th what can they expect from their person addiction revenge body forbidden fruit all right listen guys let me just say this for some of you, this person is definitely married or they're in another committed situation because we have forbidden fruit and we have addiction. Your person is addicted to you. Something about you makes this person not want to leave you alone. Okay. No, this is not your person. This could be you. So flip and reverse the roles as need be. But I feel like this person is like, I cannot walk away. I have to stay with you or the whoever it is here. It's like, I have to stay with you, but they're married. They're in another committed situation, but I don't feel like they're happy. And I feel like you're this person's happiness or there's something about you that they're addicted to that they can't let go of, even though it's forbidden, like they shouldn't be doing it. They should not be coming towards you. You know what I'm also picking up on? They, I feel like your person may have promised whoever they're with they may have told this person like i'm not going to cheat anymore i promise you it's just going to be me and you we're going to work on this marriage we're going to work on this connection and then here you are here you are either this person's soulmate or twin flame and they can't give you up they can't it's like they try i feel like somebody tries to give you up but they can't we have desired but dangerous not socially acceptable tempting and alluring so yeah if this person is married yeah, it's not socially acceptable for them to be stepping outside of their marriage but if they don't get along with the person they're married with or married to rather and this person is not loving them correctly i feel like there's somebody who's not loving your person correctly and you are able to do that for them and they know it they feel it and so without you they feel a void there's a void and they're like oh my god i gotta fill this void i can't step away from what's socially or not socially unacceptable and what's forbidden. We also have bad habits, addicted to sex, drinking, et cetera, destructive behavior. Some of your, um, whoever you're dealing with, they may drink or they may smoke. They may have some sort of addiction. And I feel like it's their way of coping with things. But this person is not gonna be able to leave you alone. They're just not. We also have someone here who's constantly in the gym. We have revenge body, looking your best, focusing on yourself, punishing the ex. Some of you may be losing weight. You may be eating different or better, you know, or going to the gym, working on yourself, you know, walking, exercising, whatever it is that you do. But I'm telling you, for some of you, this person, it's like they, I feel like they promised someone like, yeah, I'm not going to deal with nobody. I'm just going to deal with you. And then like you're sitting in the back of this person's mind. And they're like, oh my God, I can't let her or him go. I know what I said, but I can't let them go. So somebody can't let go of you. And I don't feel like you can let go of this person either. Spirit, what messages do you have? Yep, I'm telling you, you cannot make this shit up. You have activated someone's heart space. Congratulations. <laughs> Oh my God, I love these two cards. Well, I don't know. This one says forbidden fruit, but I'm just saying still. I love when you activate somebody's heart space because that means you took a little chisel and you just chipped away at their heart. No, I'm just kidding. But what you did was you showed this person love that they have never experienced before in some kind of way. I'm not saying the person has you know never experienced love, but some type of way you loved this person. 
you showed them affection, attention. It's like whatever you did, now you have cracked open their heart and it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Like this person's like, I got to be with them because they love me this way. They do this or they say that. And this is something that they resonate with. And they're like, yes, like this is what I've been wanting in a person. You know, this is what I've been wanting in a partner. But they're they're committed somewhere else. But they, they just can't let go. They can't let go. Somebody here is not going to be able to let go. I'm telling you. Yep, here you are as the secret. Here's someone as a secret. Secret love admirer, moving in silence, more to be revealed. So they may keep you hidden from whoever they're married to or whoever they're committed to, whoever they made these promises to. Also, what I'm picking up is that for some of you, without me being too crass, I feel like this person doesn't do it for them sexually. It's something about sex here I'm picking up on. With the forbidden fruit, the love activation, and the secrets, maybe this person is like, you know what I'm saying? They're not satisfying them sexually. And they feel like, okay, I may get stability and security from this person. But when it comes to you... They get this. And it's and I feel like by seeing that devil card earlier, this person is like, you're their every I feel like you're this person's everything. Like, and they just don't even tell you. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collectives from June 25th to June 30th? I don't even know what to title this damn reading. I was just getting so many messages. Spirit, what messages do you have? Oh, yeah. Okay. Wow. What am I telling you? Listen, we about to close this damn read now. Because this... <laughs> this is it. I don't even need any more cards after this. First love. No one compares to you. First true love. New love experiences. And then we have love bomber. This person... Look how they're coming, giving you this love. They're not used to offering love like this because they haven't had connections like this in the past where the love was so open. No one has cracked this person's heart space like you have. We have emotional manipulation, casting over ladies' man wanting your attention. Now, let's be clear. I feel like this person cracked your heart space as well. And I feel like both of you are in the space of passion and chemistry, emotions and love and affection and attention. And this is what you give each other, right? But this is how you're seen. This is how you're viewed as for as forbidden okay now this is not everyone some of you you know this person is not married and they're not committed um and it's just like you've cracked this person's heart space okay so i feel like this person is trying to figure out how to love you correctly because they don't want to lose this love and affection and attention and chemistry that you guys have with each other expect this person to be coming toward you they may not know what to say, okay? But someone is, is coming. They're going to come and try to talk to you about something. And they want you to listen and be open to hear them out. All right, you guys. So I'm going to wrap it up. I just want to say thank you for supporting my channel. Like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next reading. Bye.